Do you want to achieve a timeless look in your artworks? Then you might want to consider working mostly in black and white with a hint of color. The sunflowers from last summer inspired me to try a semi-abstract interpretation of sunflowers in the snow. So let me show you what I did. Some black acrylic, some white acrylic, two different types of inks, a couple of pencils, some woody pencils, a ink tense uh, block, uh, a few different sizes of brushes, and also a new color I'm going to try out called graphite. So uh, it's kind of a bit shiny and I've never tried it before so uh, I'm going to test it out. Start by setting one to two intentions uh, with your painting before you start and make it process oriented and not result oriented. And what do I mean by that? I mean, I'm going to write down what I want to achieve with my painting uh, and I want to uh, make it look abstract and also I want a high contrast look. So that's my mission with this painting. Nothing else. Don't think I'm going to make a beautiful painting. I'm going to get this done. Um, instead, try and decide on something more tangible to focus on. For example, um, I want to make a painting where I use only black and white. You could also write down that you uh, want to try something new or um, I want to use mixed media in this painting. Write down your intentions. I like to use post-it notes. When you have a clear intention of what you want to achieve in your painting, you can't go wrong because you will learn something. So um, you will try something new and you will also enjoy the process more. So whenever possible, try and make your painting practice uh, process oriented and not result oriented. I'm focusing on the overall shapes here and some of the characteristic details too. Bear in mind I cannot uh, control this uh, completely because uh, of the water and the ink are interacting and moving all the time. But that's actually part of uh, making this more of an abstract uh, painting uh, because I can't as easily control it. So it will be looser and more expressive. It might take a little bit of getting used to working like this, but I can only recommend it. Um, I like to work, as you can see, on uh, two paintings at the same time. Um, it frees me up in a way and uh, I don't feel uh, the pressure in the same way as trying to perform in just one painting. So I'll go back and forth between the two and um, just kind of uh, trying out different things and again um, working with the idea of uh, trying to abstract the sunflowers and also uh, making some high contrast between dark and light. So that's my focus uh, of the painting. Of course we'd all like to arrive at a beautiful painting at the end. But not all paintings have the same purpose. I actually believe that uh, most of my paintings are meant to teach me something. So uh, try, if you can, to think of each painting as a step on a learning curve. That uh, expression that pressure creates diamonds, uh, it doesn't work for me. Pressure just creates uh, more frustration and a sense of failure, even before I'm halfway through the painting. So if I can give you any one piece of advice concerning painting, uh, let it be this. Be kind to yourself when painting and learning. And you know what? We can always paint it over. Uh, that is uh, what is great about acrylics. Um, so say to yourself, 
Okay, this did not end up quite as I wanted yet. What I did so far is just another layer or part of the underpainting because we can always paint another layer on top, right? So uh, never think that uh, your painting is uh, final if you're not happy with it. You're just not uh, where you want uh, with the painting yet. So far I've only used ink and water on the painting uh, and a little bit of the woody pencils there but um, this uh, is getting to be very free-flowing um, painting and um, I'm kind of learning how the pigments are moving here um, and I wanted to let you know that um, if you learn something then you will always have success with your art. Um, I believe we tend to put way too much pressure on ourselves, especially when it comes to getting a result. Um, maybe it's because we learn from early on that there is a result that must be reached. Um, but you know what? Painting is not uh, a destination. It's a journey. So... Uh, don't compare yourself to someone else. Compare yourself to where you were two years ago, for example. Uh, think about that for a second. Do you remember where you were on your painting journey two years ago? I'll go first. Two years ago, I was sort of stuck in the same painting routine and always using the same colors over and over. Since then, I've become a lot better at trying a, a new color now and then. And um, I also think I've started to incorporate uh, a few new painting techniques. I'm still learning though. But uh, thinking back, I've definitely become uh, way more brave in my paint application. And I've learned a lot. This is that uh, new color called graphite. I hope you can see it's uh, a bit shiny and metallic looking when compared to the black. So I, uh, I think I need to be bold and brave over here. Maybe make one of the sunflowers really big. Trying to be really big here. I want uh, a really clear focal point, so I'm just making them really big. Scratching into the paint while it's still wet. Um, I want to try and get some sense of um, texture, that uh, texture we know from the sunflowers where you can see the sunflower seeds or in this case actually where the seeds 
used to be because of course the birds uh, already ate them but uh, so here I'm really just uh, experimenting trying to scratch into the paint and dabbing it off with some paper towel as well adding a bit of uh, stems to the few of the flowers I'm mixing up a lighter version of the burnt umber um, with some titanium white and then I'm going to make um, some detail over here on the large sunflower. I think I'm going to try with um, try to enhance so that feeling of um, where the sunflower seeds used to be. I think that might uh, be interesting. I'm definitely interested in the, the texture and the trying to achieve that um, some of those features that make sunflowers uh, unique to me that is if uh, if that means something else to you um, go ahead and try and uh, exaggerate those features I don't really like the flower up here. I think they're a bit too uh, samey, uh, same size. So I'm going to add some snow on top of this of this sunflower up here. At this point, I want to check in with what I wrote down before I started painting. So do I feel I'm getting uh, some abstracted sunflowers? And am I using high contrast of dark and light? And yes, I think so. Not too bad. Maybe just a few more small adjustments. And now if you want to know how to integrate loose painting into your art, I want to point you to my free guide, Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. It's my top tips that I share with all my art students. So uh, you can go ahead and paint in a looser and more expressive style and it's all free. Check it out, try it out and let me know what was your biggest takeaway from it. Go to danishpainter.com and get your free copy. I make this guide available for all my students. Uh, both online and in real life. So go ahead and get your free copy now via the link below this video. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.